My name is Wayne Marie and I'm a uh, director and co-owner of Aqua Foods SA. We've been farming oysters for the past five years. We cultivate oysters and black mussels in the Saldana Bay region. My name's Kevin Ruck. I'm a co-owner of Blue Sapphire Pearls and we're an oyster and mussel farm in Saldana Bay. We uh, purchase our seeds from Chile or we get them if they available from uh, Plains here in the Northern Cape. On arrival at the factory, we, we put them in uh, mesh bags. We take them out to sea where they would stay for, uh, for a month. We then bring them in for regrading. This goes on for, for nine to 12 months until they, uh, they market ready. And what's quite nice is that they are in the environment. So they are more like ranching than actual farming. We sell our oysters to uh, distributors and they would uh, supply chain stores and, and, and restaurants. We have a very stringent monitoring program which is run by Department of Agriculture. It's frequent testing of all sorts of contaminants that could cause harm to humans. The oysters actually are beneficial to the environment in that they filter all the uh, organic loading out of the water and incorporate them into their own body, the shell and the, and the flesh. So they actually sequester carbon by filtering plankton out of the environment, it's almost like planting trees. Yes, we do own the farm. Um, I'm a co-owner with my wife and at present we employ 23 uh, local staff members. We source uh, all our staff from Saldana Bay. We employ uh, 16 people at the moment. I'm a co-owner, so my staff own 20% and I own 80%. The um, industry do not require highly skilled staff. The skilled uh, part of farming would be in the form of divers, um, skippers, uh, scientists and biologists, and most of that are outsourced. There's been a few initiatives from government that have helped the industry grow. The Operation Pakisa was instrumental in uh, providing us with additional water space and also um, factory space. Our farm personally has been trying to like create um, a buzz around tourism to try and bring tourists to visit the farm and eat the oysters at source. In other countries it's very well known that people like to go and fetch their oysters from the source. Once you're eating oysters, the benefits are huge in terms of health, um, what you're getting from an oyster. Very rich in uh, minerals and vitamins and a lot of things that you struggle to get from other food. So for instance, they're high in uh, zinc and vitamin C and uh, vitamin B12, not to mention aphrodisiacs.